Today I want to say that life is managed in all areas. It's not cured. It's not just like fixed, if you know what I mean. Although we can make breakthroughs when we get a clarity, inspiration, a breakthrough of clarity and insight. But overall in life, life is managed. So that means it's a series of how we perceive things and the, the choices of either A or B we make daily um, in order to deal with something. So life is managed in areas of health. We have to manage it depending if we're sick or unwell or something, something happening with our health is not perfect. Career, money, business, um, our calling, our inspiration, it's managed. We, we have to make a series of choices to try and balance and manage and incorporate everything together. Even in these individual topics, we we might need to like be creative and like get a do volunteer work, for example, in our passion instead of just crying that we will not have a full full career in our passion or our calling or inspiration. We have to think creatively and think outside of the box to, in order to manifest often. Okay. Regarding health, we manage if you're in a wheelchair or if you're half blind or if you're sick, if you have a liver condition, skin condition, everything like this. Life is managed also in areas, listen to this one, in, in sex too. Life is managed. So sometimes, like, nothing is always perfect in every area of our life. So sometimes people don't have, like, don't have 100% their number one preference. So even in sex too. Like you might not necessarily have the best sex with your partner that you either maybe it's a mixture of the two of you or maybe it's something with them you think is a problem or maybe it's something with you you think oh no man there's something with a problem sometimes like men have like erectile issues or people have like sexual traumas so this is like a real issue and that's why i mentioned it in this video i'm not trying i don't want to shy away from these like sensitive topics that's the whole purpose of these videos so Instead of just saying, okay, it's not perfect, I don't want to, sometimes we have to say, okay, listen, there's a lot of good things about this situation or my overall life. So let's say, for example, like with sex or money, there's a lot of good things with my money situation. I have to be, need to be grateful, look at the positives, make the most of the positives and don't make the negatives into a huge big thing, like focusing on them excessively or making them into something that they aren't. So like some people, for example, you know, it could be worse, is what I'm saying. Make the most of what you have. But if, it, if you really, I'm not trying to say deny an issue. I'm not trying to say don't work on an issue. Try and improve everything. But at the same time, make the most of what you have and don't forget to be grateful and know that other people are worse or things could be worse yourself. So that's what I'm basically trying to say with this issue regarding business, money, career, work, calling, passion, creativity, sex and sexual connection, sexual functioning of people's bodies. Um, health things can always be worse so and then it comes to like family um, your home and security uh, your your job I already said that but I didn't say the word job um, your life your freedom the weather there there's this life is managed it, each individual topic is managed okay and what I just said making the most dealing managing incorporating integrating balancing and then everything together too every single big all the topics together then so you know everything has positives and negatives every country you live in every area house you live in like i was thinking like what's where should i want to live is my main place like ireland la palma maybe other places like canada hawaii it could be anywhere but really, I was thinking maybe this place or this place. I'm thinking, well, there's positives and negatives. There's like your social interactions, uh, the quality of the, f the, the food, the fruits, the weather, the, the cost of things. So you have to juggle and think and reflect and weigh up the positives and negatives in your relationship too, your, either your family and friends relationships as well as your romantic relationships. See, know yourself, know your needs, um, know what's most important to you, know what makes you happy and fulfilled and content in life. For example, I thought many years ago I was focusing too much on the weather and fruits, but then I realized when I went away I had no family or friends or social contact. And that just like left me feeling way worse, like then I realized that's more important. Like, 
like extremely important to me, more important than I realised. And then whenever I left Ireland and I came back to Ireland, I realised how much I love Ireland. The only things I don't that aren't as good as I'd like about Ireland are maybe the, pri the cost of living, the prices, the weather could be generally uh, sunnier and brighter. Today happens to be a lovely day. And then the fruit situation isn't as, as the way I'd prefer, but I'm managing. I found some places that have some like really, I can get some frozen durian that's really nice, which I, one of my favorite fruits is really important to me and some really good quality mangoes which really make me feel satisfied it's a good quality good nutrition in them my body loves them and my taste buds like them so i have my mum here um i have my my family my have some have some friends a little bit in other countries i could be alone but still have lovely weather every day but that gets unfulfilling and like more two-dimensional like paper thin like just the bare basic simple physical life like just the sun and the weather and the fruit like you can't live on that you know and some relationships you know you mightn't have perfect some things but other things can be really really good so i guess like i said juggle and incorporate so i think i've and weigh up the positives and negatives and don't expect everything to be positive like you have to just be realistic and weigh up and manage okay everybody's doing this and even if people don't know they're doing it, they're trying to do it, kind of. And But it's really good to know about this. So, um, here's a lovely back garden my mum's. So I hope this video has helped you to find a bit of clarity and understanding. Um, I made it to help you in your life. I hope you have a better experience. And if you need, if you, I also do one-to-one -one coaching for anyone who, who wants my one-to-one -one help, um, health coaching relationship coaching and just life coaching so i love to help people in all areas i love it when you share the video or like or comment and um, really appreciate any shares or like support of my work and my passion so thanks very much spend a fair bit of time making these videos so i really appreciate any love and appreciation and support thank you very much you very your kindness moves me inspires me so what else um i think that's more or less it have a look at my herb shop hireselfherbs.com below 20 percent off first time subscribers orders and other than that befriend me on facebook and i hope you have a lovely day thanks for all the love and support much love and gratitude see you again have a lovely day enjoy your family life the weather your body your relationships your money your blessings the love and affection shared and being kind being creative being expressing yourself is like a lovely part of life your creative expression just moving your body breathing the fresh air it's all so beautiful like so count your blessings and enjoy life everybody and look after yourself and look and look after each other okay bye